kind of things. Right, uh, hello YouTubers and uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, me. of course my good friend Roger Crooks. And we're going to attempt to uh, do a small repair on this. And the basic issue is um, the inlet for the water is um, leaking through and it doesn't sort of stop coming through there. So we're going to do a little repair. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, when we when we flush, um, the uh, the water takes ages to refill the um, the, the system <coughs> because of the some sort of a problem I inside there. Um, instead of having a, a big flow coming through, um, I'm refilling within. I don't know, half a minute, it takes five, five, ten minutes oh, to refill. So so. I made a little mistake, it's actually, it's, it's not coming through that well, isn't it? It's, uh, yes, it's it's yes yeah. for some reason. And it is a sort of thing that can be repaired, but for, the, for what it's worth, it's just as easy to put the new, a whole new part in, so that's what we're going to attempt. And we should say to your, your lovely viewers, <coughs> the reason that you've got my ugly mush in here rather oh. than Alva is that Alva's going to attempt to teach me how to fix this problem because uh, I'm not really very confident at doing kind of indoor DIY type stuff. Um, if it was out in the garden, oh. I'd be happy as Larry and uh, Alva is kindly going to put a little link in uh, in the description uh, bit underneath the video uh, of my of my YouTube channel where you can marvel at uh, absolutely <laughs> my, my gardening exploits uh, for which I feel much more confident but this to be honest kind of frightens me so I'm relying upon our man Albert to help me sort this out all right you and um, definitely without a doubt any sort of gardening related uh, topics uh, he's your man but uh, let's get stuck straight in and um, the most important thing and it's vital in any sort of situation like this is we want to isolate the water source so I've left a screwdriver there for you on the windowsill, Roger. Is, this, is that a screwdriver? That, 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 that's there, the pointy side. Right. <laughs> and um, there should be an isolation valve. Not all systems have this, but I think we're lucky enough to have it on this one. You so, want to show the viewers, can you sneak in real there? Is that it? That's it, right at the bottom there. You got it. So um, it's pointing straight up. If you have it pointing 90 degrees across, so it's across, and that indicates then the water should hopefully be switched off then and we've isolated the right do you want to have a look at that and make sure that is that what you mean um that's it bang on so it's sort of exactly 90 degrees uh to the pipe there the next thing really simple we want to flush the toilet so uh, i'll leave you in charge of that we'll keep it yeah keep your finger down there so we just give it a good empty I have to check and make sure all the, uh, the stuff is gone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hopefully, uh, <laughs> but uh, and then um, we're just going to simply remove that uh, the top there. And it, on different systems, it's different. So this one, if you notice, you can't lift the top. That means it's a screwed in. So if you just turn that anti-clockwise, hopefully. So that's a good indication. Oh, look at me, like an engineer. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. if you can't lift the lid in, you've got a screw in type. Uh, keep to it, keep unscrewing oh, a little bit more. Right. It should come uh, right best. out, hopefully. That's it. And then a uh, simple case of removing the mm. lid on the tank. Oh, oh. Obviously, be careful. It's uh, it could be easily chipped. And let's have a little gander in here and see what we've got. So um, this is the culprit here. Yeah. And that's just the inlet, so it's very simple. It's just got a float valve when it comes to the right height, it switches the water off. And um, all that section there, that can be repaired. They can get seals and valves for that. But to be honest, we may as well put all the whole new system in because it's going to be a lot easier. So we're going to remove all this stuff here? All we? of it, yep. And then we'll put a whole new one in. And um, okay. if, uh, if you could be so kind, oh no, it's just there in the corner of the room. We'll have a look at what we're going to put in. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. right. So, this is our new one. Hopefully, it should do the trick. And just be aware, most systems now, they're quite versatile. They work on, like, low and high pressure systems now. So, we'll uh, get that in. And uh, it's very, very simple. Now we've emptied this, there might be a little bit of water there in the bottom. Mm -hmm. So, we might just 
get a container and maybe a, a towel or something just to catch that little bit of water. Shall I ask my able assistants to sort that out? That would be wonderful. <laughs> we need a, a towel, darling, and um, some sort of vessel to collect any water that might. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. Right. So we've managed to loosen this nut there. Let's get that struggling to focus for some reason. There we go. There's that nut there on the bottom of the inlet. So we, it was tight, you know, it was um, awkward access rather. And uh, Roger's just going to continue unthreading it now because once it's loose, it should unthread fairly easily. And I'm doing this clockwise, aren't I? That's right, because we're upside down. So <laughs> that was uh, the little... Uh, don't, don't misunderstand me. So it's the old righty tighty lefty loosey. <laughs> Except if you're upside down. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh that's yeah. there we go. Fantastic. Yeah. Right here. Oh. And then we've got the plastic nut above it, which I think again we're just going to have to loosen. I don't know. It's, oh, it looks like it's not quite hand tight. And uh, a little tip is you shouldn't do those too tight in, if you are putting them in the future. So we'll loosen that up and. Uh, It'll be a bit tricky while filming, so um, I'm just going to cut there and we'll get it loose in there. Oh, by the way, I've just been using an ordinary um, adjustable spanner. You can get like a pipe wrench, you know, if you're struggling with the access. So um, usually that does the trick, so I'll just get on and loosen that. Right, um, we've managed to loosen that plastic nut that's holding the inlet in there, so I'm just going to do the same thing, unthread it all the way to the bottom. The old, uh, a bit of water coming out there now, isn't it? Yeah, so that's quite obviously. I'd take a bit more precautions if you've got nice wooden floors or carpets or something like that, but we'll get quite a bit of water. But it's a tiled floor and we're on the bottom ground floor, so it's not going to upset anything too much. Apart from my wife, yeah. <laughs> there we go. And then once that's undone, which will be any second now, we'll Go back up to the top here, and we should be able to just lift the inlet straight out. Come on, it's a long thread. It is quite a long thread. Oh, there, there we are. There we go. Okay. So I'll let you do the honours, seeing as it's a how-to video. And uh, voila, uh -huh. it's as simple as that. So, um, like I said, it's a shame we, we live in the world as it is but I'm afraid we just the best thing for that is just to dispose of that responsibly of course so we're going to do a bit of a mop up and then uh, we'll cut in to us installing the new part right we're ready to install the new part and uh, my good friend Roger is going to uh, do the famous unboxing here this quite popular on YouTube <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey. <laughs> oh instructions and everything <laughs> yeah, he's very important. Yes, uh, <laughs> we'll uh, do the man thing. We'll look at those ones we can't fit them in. <laughs> so um, let's have a close look at that in a minute, Rog. So, so it's quite simple. It's basically installed as you see it. So that seal there will um, be inside the pan, in the, in the, in the, uh, okay. in the tank there. Down the bottom there. And you want to make yeah. sure that's nice and clean and there's no debris or anything around there. So we might give it a little wipe with a cloth or something like that. It looks pretty good. But we'll uh, just... Uh, that looks okay, I think. And, um, yeah, so that, that rubber bung at the bottom of that um, uh, inlet there, that, that basically just seals it. And then right. the plastic part there is the washer and then... So do I take this off? Yeah, take it all off and... See how um, I work that out on my own? Uh, I'm, I'm like a... Fast, like fast learner. <laughs> so whip all that off. And yeah, leave the rubber bung in place there. I'm sure there's a more technical uh, term for it than that. So, so I am, I mean, uh, we'll have a look, that's right. And then, so what we've got to be aware, before you put it in, Roger, yeah. lift it out again, this is the float, so we want that um, not interfering with any of the other gubbins in the loo there. So it looks like you need to turn that towards me a bit. Oh, so like that's that. it, yeah, so it's... Uh, ah. Yeah, so that's it. Basically plonk it in, so we can see now the float won't interfere with uh, yeah. anything there. So, um, 
one further thing. We can either do it, possibly a good idea to do it now, is to adjust the height of it. So we know the, where, the, where we want the water level to come to, uh, similar to where it was previously. And um, these modern floats, they are adjustable. So we may as well have a go, go doing that now before we install it just All right. for ease of access. So, so where do we'll you have want? a little look at that. So if we take it out again, okay. we'll have a little look at it in a sec. Okay, um, just before we take this uh, new inlet out to adjust it, I've just been explaining to my good friend Roger um, the reason and why we want to adjust it a minute. So uh, do you remember what to do here, Rog? Huh? Well, I remember you saying that basically this, but basically the water level um, can't go any higher than this because otherwise it's all going to run down there. Mm -hmm. And we were looking on the side of this pipe and we can see that previously the water level has come to about yeah. there where that kind That's of... That's sort of like a tide mark, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were saying that um, we, in order for it to get up towards that sort of height, we need to extend this, this bin up, yeah? Yeah, that's um, right. Um, so once the water goes in there, that little grey float, that's where it will stop at. Right. Because that will fill up with water and it will activate the valve there. Yeah. So we want to lift the whole unit up a bit and um, if we take it out we can show you how to do that. So, so this clip has got to come off? That's right, there's that little grey tab. Um, if you take it, that's it. Oh, look there at that. Yeah. Okay. And, um, the, the bottom swex section, if you turn that clockwise slightly, there we go, do you feel that turn then a yeah. little bit? And there Whoa, we go, look you, can, at that. you can adjust it. So yeah, try that, or maybe a little bit less, yeah, about there. And then um, to Drift lock it, it, back, it, it, that's right. And then okay, feel I felt that, that kind of yeah, in there. It doesn't, and then it's just a little safety precaution that is, you, just to ensure that it doesn't move, you just clip that back in, into that little groove there. That's it. I think that's it. That perfect. And then we'll give that a try. Uh, and looking at that, I think we won't be far off. I so is that the water outlet there? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So um, when when it fills up, you'll see that will go up like that. Right. I. I think we could still adjust it a little bit more, to be honest. So how can you tell where the, the, the water level will be? What's because once um, that fills up with water there, yeah. that's going to rise up like that, and then it'll switch the valve off. So, so, it so where is the water level going to be? Um, probably, you see, as I lift that up, the height of that, the top of this grey float. So it's only going to come as far as About there? About there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, which isn't that far off. It looks like it's still below the yeah, watermark there. So I okay. think we could adjust it. Okay. Probably about another good uh, half inch or so. I just caught up here, you have. Uh, uh -huh. So then we twist it. Yes, that's right. And then we can slide yeah, it. Try that, I think. And then locking back. Perfect. Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, it's gonna. I'm a bit concerned here, yeah, he's picking it up a bit too well, I might be out of a job, I think. Is that right, that once you've done this for a while, you can get to put a pencil behind your ear? Is that, is oh, that, uh, well, that's, that's a three-year course, that oh, is. Right, right. <laughs> and, right so if I... Uh, once that's located, you can, um, it's a, just a case of the washer and then the nut on there, so I'll let you crack on with that and then we'll uh, oh, cut right. back to you. It's <laughs> just a... Uh, done a fine job of tightening up that and um, if you have gone extra hand it does make it easier because the inlet then can be held by someone else as the nut at the bottom has been tightened up there. I can see it turning as well. Yeah it will have a tendency to want to turn and if it turns what might happen then is the float valve might jam on another component in the toilet and not operate properly. But that's still okay there as we've got that. That's, that's yeah. perfect, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's perfect. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> I was singing your praises yeah. there. So yeah, we'll just all we need to do now, a common fault is over tightening. So we just we've tightened that by hand and then we're just gonna nip it up with a couple turns with a spanner. And then um, it'll be just a matter of um, the reverse of what we've just done. We'll reconnect. Let's have a look at the new inlet there. So we've got nice uh, proper brass fittings there, and then it's just a matter of them. Um, so I've got to just tighten that a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll reconnect 
Hang on, this pipe there. Uh, I'm going that wrong way in it. It's that way. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but uh, we'll, we'll put a spanner on there just to make sure we get a reasonable seal. Yeah. So, um, I don't. I think it's pretty explanatory there. It's just a matter of reconnecting this pipe there. We'll do that, and then we'll be ready to give it a test. And um, the main test will be just to see where the water level finishes, and if we're happy with that. Right. As you can see, we've got it all back together. So. Basically just a reverse of um, taking it apart. So access was tricky, I've got to be honest in this situation, but hopefully we've tightened everything tight enough. And this is a very honest video, so if it leaks, you will know. So we're going to turn it on for the first time. So we'll be back down to that isolation valve there. So Incoming screwdriver. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. I said it could leak, it may so we'll keep everything crossed. Turn it all the way on, go on, be brave. That's it, and then we'll go have a look at the top here. You keep an eye down there, see if it's dry. And um, as we can see, the system's filling up. There's the float activated. There so um, it's a little bit lower than it was before. Yeah. That's not a problem. We can still um, adjust that. So uh, yeah. we'll uh, just uh, activate. All right, then, folks. Um, that's basically it. We've managed to adjust the level, the water level, to exactly where we want it. Everything's nice and dry. Yeah. So um, my good friend here, Roger, has uh, installed his first. Uh, Blue water inlet there and um, goes to show anyone can do it. You got a proper testing now? Oh, please, please don't. <laughs> There'll be too much trauma. Will it get us views if it gets us views? <laughs> so, um, yeah, again, just a reverse of um, what we did earlier, put the lid back on, and in this case, it's just a simple case of a little screw in. So, obviously, I support plumbers and everything, but maybe it's a job that. Um, you think you could attempt and you can see a, you know it's relatively simple but um, if you feel competent and you fancy having a go don't do it too tight Roger that's okay. it that's perfect is that and ju just properly, Rog? make sure that's uh, centered is it? Properly, shouldn't... okay dog wonderful yeah. right and um, again just uh, remember to support our channels and I'll put a link into this nice chap here Flash it, then. so uh, a final test before we sign out and uh, we'll see you soon in another uh, episode thank you very much and thank you Roger for your assistance <laughs>